Hey guys, welcome to Budget with a July Dreamer. In today's video, I will be sharing my Vanguard ISA as well as SIP, and then I will share a screenshot of my work pension SIP that obviously I have with my employer. Hey guys, welcome to Budget with a July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I talk all things personal finance, specifically sharing tips on how to save, how to invest as well as how to budget. Today's video I will be talking about investing and I will be sharing my Vanguard investments that I have in my stocks and shares ISA as well as what I have in my Vanguard SIP. So I will start looking down on my computer as I share a screenshot, well, a walkthrough of my Vanguard portfolio. So as you can see the homepage of my stocks and shares ISA, right now my ISA has got £3,469.64 pence as of today when I'm filming this video, which is the 14th of August 2021. So my ISA allowance is 17,776 and 64 pence. This is what I have left between April 2021 and April 2022. Then my investments right now, my largest uh, holding is my life strategy, 60% equity fund. And with that, I have 1,450 and 18 pence and it makes up 41.80% of my overall ISA. Then here you can see my personal return, rate of return since I opened my account and this is plus 6.76% which is really impressive um, because I only opened my ISA back in April, no, March of 2021. That's when I opened this ISA. Then if we look on the bottom left, this is available cash. So I fund my ISA once a month and then sometimes I do add in extra income if I make um, income from my side hustles. So right now I have £45.83 in, um, in my ISA as cash. Then here you can see my last four transactions. So I've got my last transaction. So I've got four pending at the moment. Whenever I get paid, I immediately transfer uh, money in directly into my ISA and that's what is currently pending to go through and I'll walk you through that and I also have in the bottom right here I do have one transfer pending which I have with my bank I'm trying to transfer Vanguard on funds that I had in a different ISA to this ISA so we'll go straight to the investments so I'll click on investments so for my holdings, like I said, I, I have life strategy 60%. So that carries a weight of 41.80%. Um, I put in, I think, 1,377.48 pence. The current value is 1,450.18 pence, which is a change of 72 pounds and 70 pence. Then I have the FTSE UK Equity Income Index Fund. That's a holding of 15 um, 0.72 percent. I put in 523 pounds and 36 pence, and I currently have 545 pounds and 46 pence, which is another gain of 22 pounds and 10 pence. The emerging markets have seen this with other investors. Well, the emerging markets haven't been doing so well the last couple of weeks, but that's fine. I mean, this for the long haul. So my emerging markets ETF, uh, it's 10.08 percent weight in my portfolio, and I put in 357 pounds and 41 pence right now it's worth less than what i put in so it's 349 and 60 percent 60 pounds and it's a loss of seven pounds and 81 pence again i am not really worried about this because again i'm in this investing majiggy for the long haul then for developed europe x uk etf uh, this is a 10.24 percent weight I put in 327 pounds and 43 pence. I currently have uh, 355 and 41 pence, which is a gain of 27 uh, pounds and 98 pence. Global all cap index fund accumulation. This is a 12.03% weight. So I put in 399 and 99 pence. I think I put in 400 pounds, but you know. Uh, so now it's worth 417 and 29 
pence which is a gain of 17 pounds and 29 pence then my final one is my s p 500 etf and the weight for that one is 8.82 percent i put in 298 and 7 pence and it's actually worth 305 and 88 pence which is a gain of 7 pounds and 81 pence so the s p 500 and i think the emerging markets are my newest one i believe i bought them either last month or the month before so if we go into performance of my holdings so again like i said i opened my account back in march now we're in august so i have put in 3313 and 94 pence and my returns have brought me for a 157 and 70 pence which overall is 300 3469 and 64 pence and a beautiful return of 6.76 percent which I'm really happy about you know for such a short time I've seen some incredible return so far in the year so when you look coming to the calculations I love looking at the calculations in my Vanguard um, stocks and shares ISA because I love seeing how much cash I've paid in I am not planning to do any withdrawals anytime soon I like seeing you know the transfers that I've put in so this is the transfer that I put in from when I closed down my trading to one two account and this is how much it all came together and then in terms of my returns I'm looking at this what has been my current gain or loss and I've gained um, 140 pounds and uh, six pence I had to sell the targeted um, targeted retirement funds and from that i ended up making 12 pounds 63 pence extra and i sold them that sort i could buy the s p 500 and the emerging markets and then i do have some funds in my profile that um, pay out uh, dividends and i think it's the life strategy and the FTSE um global i believe and then for charges so far i've only paid 69 pence if i look at um the investments that I do with Vanguard and to see that I've only had a charge so far of 69 pence it's truly incredible and when I listen and watch other investors that are obviously more experienced than I am and talk about the importance of ensuring you pick the right provider it really is so so important the worst thing uh, we with you invest is not only just picking bad stock you know which nobody wants to pick bad stock but the other thing is fees because you think you've made this dararam of money until your stockbroker tells you about all of these fees that they have to take out before the money is given to you it's really important to choose the right platform to use you know to put your money to invest in what you believe in and all of that jazz so 69 pence isn't bad at all isn't bad at all and then if we look into the month so this is broken down by month like I said I started back in March and I put in 50 pounds when I opened the account and I think I bought the life strategy and since then I have been adding in money ever since so I added in um, the transfer from trading to one two then every month I've been putting in 500 400 pounds and what have you so there's a 400 pound waiting to um, to clear in the account so I can buy of the same holdings that I have in my um, in my portfolio so once that clears obviously the numbers will change and then the investments again I just love this um, tab it really just gives you a good idea of what's happening with your investment so you know all the purchases that you've been making all the sales that you've been making if you've made any sales like I did I did sell the targeted fund for 2025 I saw the other targeted fund to for 2030 and I just replaced them with the S&P 500 so it's been really great having this overall view of what's happening the type of transactions I am having and all of that just in my stocks and shares ISA so this is I think all I wanted to share when it comes to my stocks such as ISA I'm now going to move over to my SIP which is the pension that I have 
um, obviously with Vanguard I have two pensions uh, one I have which you know my employer contributes to my employer matches what and I contribute into that and then I'm putting also extra with this Vanguard um, SIP so in a Vanguard SIP for my pension pre-retirement I currently have 10,000 and 82 pounds and 91 pence this is what I currently have in there and I recently added in uh, I think it was uh, 185 that I added in just a couple of days ago so looking at the performance over the last three months I think I've only had this for two months though so it's been really great I've had a return of 4.03 percent not bad not bad at all again this is for my pre-retirement I'm not planning to touch this money for another 20 years so I'm just going to be contributing every single month I'm going to be adding in a hundred pounds so if we go to the performance um, nothing really here to see to be honest the performance has been pretty uh, steady with this I'm just happy that I have reached the 10,000 pound a mark that I was hoping to reach so I'm very happy about this and if we look at the investments in here so I only had and I don't know if I still because I think yesterday I may have made a mistake when I added in some money I have the 2045 fund but I think I may have clicked on 2040 fund but we'll see when everything clears so uh, I transferred um, I transferred my SIP from the previous provider that my previous company was using and I transferred it into Vanguard. So I transferred in 9,680 and 12 pence. Um, that's how much I transferred in and so far I've had a return of 1.52% which is not bad at all not bad at all so this is what i currently have in my sip i'm really happy with what i am seeing i'm happy with the fan that i've chosen and also i'm just excited to continue contributing to this pre-retirement fund and what i love about this sip is as you can see here i get a tax relief so i put in a hundred pounds into this investment and the government gives me 25 pounds and because of the tax bracket that i sit in also when i do my taxes um uh at the end of the financial year in april next year i'm gonna also have to submit another claim so i can get more back from the government and when i get that back i'll actually just put it into my investments i am not going to be using that money for anything other than putting back into my investments so this has been really really great i'm happy to see the progress that i'm slowly but surely building up with my um with my investment so my stocks and shares isa is doing really well uh my pension so my sip is doing really well and i currently like i mentioned i do have another um pension private pension with my employer and i'm going to share um a screenshot of that um in a moment so at the moment with my employer i do have over ten thousand pounds i think it's eleven thousand oh i do have it open eleven thousand one hundred and forty eight and eighty pence so this is what they match i put in a certain amount and then they match what i put in so yeah this is what I have in that and I'm I'm doing this challenge privately where I want to be able to reach a hundred thousand pounds in the next five years so it's gonna be a fierce battle <laughs> for myself but it's a personal challenge that I want to achieve this goal in the next five years so yeah this is all I wanted to share in my August 2021 uh, stock shares um, video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed then hit that subscribe subscription button and um, I'll see you in my next one bye